What's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to easily add bezels to your MAME and RetroArch games on Windows. A few months back I did a video on the bezel project. This was focused on the Raspberry Pi running RetroPie, but the guys and girls over there have ported it over to Windows. In this video I'm just going to be focusing on RetroArch. If you guys are really interested in a MAME tutorial, just let me know in the comments below. Before we get started here, there's a few things you're going to need. You're obviously going to need RetroArch set up, and I've done a tutorial on that. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to check that out. I just set up a quick RetroArch build on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and launch it. So here we are in RetroArch. I've already set up some NES and Sega Genesis games just for this tutorial. This was a quick build I put together. Now the ROM sets that I use are no intro ROM sets, and that's what this is going to depend on. The naming convention of each game kind of needs to match the bezel and the config file, and I know personally that the no intro ROM sets match. If you just have a bunch of randomly downloaded ROMs, they may be named incorrectly and the bezels will not launch when you start the game. And if you want to download box art for RetroArch, just head over to the online updater, thumbnails updater, and download a system pack here. It'll give you thumbnails as long as you're using a no intro ROM set naming convention. All of the games that we start now are going to have black bars on the side. This is because all of these games were designed to be run in a 4x3 aspect ratio monitor or CRT TV. Most people now are using a 16x9 monitor or TV. There still are 4x3s out there you can buy, but a majority of everybody will have black bars on the side. Bezels will fix this. It's going to add some nice artwork on each side and it's also going to give us a CRT look kind of bezel around the game in the center. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and install these bezels. The link for this GitHub page will be in the description. We're going to download the Windows version. We're going to go to Releases, and we want to download the EXE, or you can download the ZIP. So I've just taken mine from my Downloads folder and placed it on my desktop for easy access. I'm just going to double click it. It's going to launch the application, go ahead and read through all the text. This is going to walk us through how to install it. So my internet's acting up right now. I'm just going to download a couple. I'm going to uncheck everything except for NES and Mega Drive. In other parts of the world, the Sega Genesis was known as the Mega Drive. So the Mega Drive is Genesis. That's chosen. Click Next. And now we need to navigate to where we have our RetroArch installed. Mine's on my desktop. Yours may be somewhere different. So I'm just going to go to Browse. Find my RetroArch folder that I have set up. It's on my desktop in a folder called RetroArch. And that's it. We're going to choose this, click OK, and start. This is going to download the bezels, extract them to the RetroArch folder that we just chose, and we'll have bezels installed. Just give it a little time. The installation process is now complete. Don't forget to check out the Bezel Project Facebook page, and I'm going to leave a link to that in the description. If you have a Facebook page and you use the Bezel Project, make sure you go and thank these guys and girls, because they spent their own time making these bezels, setting up all the configuration files, and they do it all for free. So now all we have to do, click Finish. We're going to start RetroArch up, and our bezels are installed. I'm just going to head over to, we'll do Genesis first. And I'll start the same game I chose in the beginning, Afterburner 2. Go ahead and launch it. And there we have it. Bezels filling the screen. I think these look amazing. I'm going to back out and test a couple more games. Close content. And I'll try another one. We'll do Alex Kidd. And there we have it. A super easy bezel install for RetroArch. I'm just going to test one in the NES section. It just blows me away that they made it this easy. So let's say you use another front end on PC, like maybe Emulation Station, Hyperspin, or my favorite, LaunchBox and BigBox. This also works with those as long as you're using RetroArch cores to play the games. Here's a quick demo of it working in BigBox. I'm just going to choose a random game. I'm going to scroll until I stop. Where it stops, nobody knows. That's too common, I gotta keep going. I've never played this game, and I'm hoping there's a bezel for it. LaunchBox has recently added start and exit screens, and along with this bezel pack, this is like the complete setup. 
And this was a total random game. There's a bezel for it. So they did say that every NES game, at least every US NES game, has a bezel along with all the other systems that it supports. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Links for the GitHub are in the description along with the Bezel Project Facebook page. If you use it and you like it, definitely head over there and thank the developers. They spent a lot of their own time on this. Really appreciate you watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.